Hey guys, Kathy Owen here, and welcome to day nine of my video series. Today, I'm going to talk to you about trusting the process. Before I go to that, let me tell you about what's going on at OcuSoft. So I do work at OcuSoft. Um, OcuSoft is an essential company because we are a full line pharmaceutical company and we sell a lot of products that are necessary during this time. So we are working, but um, we're working with only essential staff. So some days I do go into the office, but the reason why is because every room in the building has to be cleaned and disinfected even if nobody enters that room. Well, a week before the quarantine started, I was, uh, I moved back into the gym after all the floodings that happened and all the construction and things like that. So I moved back into the gym. Well, I am in charge of the gym. And so I told them that um, I would do the disinfecting and cleaning of the gym. And that's what I do when I do go in. So if you see me at the office, that's why. It's not that I am going in every day. I'm only going in on a few days of the week and then the other days of week I work from home. So let me teach you about trusting the process. That's what I'm gonna talk about today. And before I tell you that, of course, I'm gonna tell a story. I had a friend of mine who grew up in Alvin, Texas in the 50s, back before Alvin, Texas is just outside of Houston. It was not populated at the time. It was more country lands. And the area she grew up in was all rice fields. And for rice to grow, it needs a lot of water. So um, the kids would go play in these rice fields, but they also had what is these water reservoirs that like just pools of water where they would draw from to water the crops if the, it wasn't raining. And the, 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 they were like invisible in the, in the field. When you're walking along, all of a sudden you fall in. So the kids were out there playing in the water, playing in the rice fields and just, you know, doing what kids do back in the day or whatever. And two of kids fell in two different water holes. And one of the kids was fighting the water, resisting it, was, was very scared. And the other one remained calm until help arrived. The one that resisted and fought actually drowned. That's sad and traumatic. But the one that didn't resist and relaxed into trusting the process was rescued. So what can this teach us right now? It can teach us that if we, we just remain calm, we may not like the situation. We may be stuck in gross, nasty water, just in a, in a metaphoric kind of way. And if we trust the process, it won't be as traumatic. It won't be as scary. And we're taking, we're finding the advantage we're dropping importance and we are working with outer intention to actually guide us. Because I can tell you this, when you do work with those three principles, you're thinking more like your higher self, like um, your higher self would think. And when you think like that, it, it, it clears your mind to be able to solve problems a lot more efficiently, a lot more productively, because you're not clouding it with other things. So you're trusting the process, just trust it. It, it, it is what it is, quit resisting, because what you resist persists. Remember, we learned that the other day in a video, and let it go and just trust. And you'll find, things working to your advantage when you do that. You'll find things, you'll find when you actually mindfully drop importance that it's really not that big a deal, whatever you're worried about right now. And on top of that, you'll find that outer intention is taking care of you. That's my lesson for today. Peace out and namaste.